So today, we're gonna to talk about a difficult subject, but it's an important conversation that we have to have. We still have some people on the job site who think it's okay to harass people based on their gender or on their race. And we have other people who are standing by and letting it happen because it's too awkward to deal with. So the question for today is what to do about it. Sexual harassment, it's really a leadership issue. How we treat each other on the job site speaks to our values as individuals and at the organizations that we belong to. A small fraction of people selfishly indulge in these behaviors. What drives it? I don't know, it's probably insecurity, stupidity, but there's no excuse. So I want you to keep these three things in mind when you see it, hear it, or have to deal with it on your crew. First off, everybody in our industry deserves a chance. A chance to earn a living, a chance to be a great craftsperson, a chance to take care of their family and their kids. It's that which everybody shows up to the job site for and no one should be denied that opportunity. Second, you can't tolerate it in the interest of getting along. You can't tolerate it or be silent about it because you don't feel you'd be loyal to your fellow workers. And you can't accept it because anytime that behavior is occurring, it could just as easily occur for your sister, your daughter, or another woman or family member that you know and respect. And third, you have to have courage. Courage to discuss, courage to confront, courage to stand up, courage to do the right thing at the right time and be the leader at that moment. The idea that this is an acceptable way to treat people is over. Some people haven't got the message and it's up to all of us to take the responsibility. Just as important is not to be the silent bystander. It'll be uncomfortable, it'll be difficult, and it'll probably cause some pushback. Anyone who's engaged in it is wrong and had no place to justify it except in their own dysfunctional way. But when you're engaged in the greater good for others, you have a power that no one else can share and no one else can take that away from you. That power is doing the right thing.